Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Dial Another Day. I'm Amanda. Did I say that right? You're looking at me weird. No, yeah. you said that right. That's your name. It's true. <laughs> okay, otherwise known as you're an enabler. I'm, um, I'm on Etsy and Ravelry and Instagram mm -hmm. and Facebook somewhat. And I'm known for these bad boys, these pencil socks. Yeah. That's me. And my lovely co-host, Christina. Yeah, oh, I totally um, just introduced That's story. true. <laughs> she is so good with the names. Like... Right on it today. Gold star. <laughs> so I'm the cozy knitter, and you can find me on Ravelry and Instagram as well. I do have a Facebook page, not quite as active on there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, join us anyways. We also have the Die Another Day podcast group on Ravelry, and we just did our first joint pairs. We did. That was so much. That fun. was fun. So we were just Christina before. Christina got more people than me, so you guys better start following me. <laughs> um, so we were watching. We were sitting here getting prepped, and then we saw a notification that. Um, Sue, Sue yeah, from um, Legacy Knits, from Legacy Knits, uh, was periscoping. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna join, and then Amanda joined in. So we were like, we had like Sue in stereo, and it was really funny. And we thought, you <laughs> know what? Funny. We should just we should just do one. We should like, do one after yeah. Sue finishes. Then we'll do one really quick before we do the podcast. And it was yeah. a lot of fun. We might do it again every week. <laughs> and we just got a message on Instagram on your thing saying oh. that I'm hilarious unedited. <laughs> You guys have no idea. Because <laughs> YouTube makes me put a rating on it. <laughs> so I have to filter out certain words. <laughs> and stories. And like, um, if you go view the Periscope, it will be up. I think it's up for like 24 hours or something. You'll see some of the words that I have to filter out that you cannot say on a PG rated YouTube. I have to be so well behaved because you have no idea how hard it is for me <laughs> to act normal. <laughs> And you know what? So when I'm editing, like there's different sound effects that I can add to the video, but there's not one that goes bleep. Like I can't. Not one that will like go over my swear words yeah. or my inappropriate There's no like, I, I can't like blur out your mouth or whatever like they do in some of the shows. Can you imagine? That would be so funny. Anywho. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so go check out our Periscope because yeah. we think we're going to start doing that every week because it was just so much fun. fun. It was, it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So we have so much to show you guys today. We've both mm -hmm. been knitting our hearts out and look what I see up there. It's a hoe. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see your hoe. Let's Bring jump it down. right in. Yeah. Okay. And she's threatening me with this needle that she's going to pull out. So let's get her on to something different. So this is uh, my first sock. This is the Pebble Sock Pattern by Mina Phillip. And I knit this out of Tweed Sock by The Wool Barn in her Coastal Colorway. So it's, I really like it. I really like it. So I modified the, pair, uh, the pattern ever so slightly in that the way it's written, it is written for top down, but the back of the sock is knit plain where the only pattern on the front. So I carried the pattern onto the back of the sock also. I just love it. Seriously, I don't think you could have mm -hmm. picked a better pattern. I know I say this all the time, mm -hmm. but you couldn't have. That wool is perfect mm -hmm. for that pattern. It's beautiful. I love it. And then Mina's pattern, it has a short row heel in it, so where I, I put a heel flap. So I just followed the pattern from the Hermione sock uh, heel flap, mm -hmm. and I just put this texture on it instead. It feels so cool, guys. Mm -hmm. There is so much texture there. Like, I yeah. Love it. See, I don't know. And it's much more blue than it's showing. Like, it's showing yeah. very gray, but it's actually very tealy. Yeah. Yeah, teal and brown, and yeah. So. Because there's the both, showing. maybe you can tell on the stock in that part better, but you can tell that there's um, there's speckles and the Tweety Flex. So it really looks like there's just so much texture. Mm -hmm. It's going to be happy with it. And guess what, guys? I cast on the second sock. <laughs> of course and she did. Look how much she's done already. <laughs> are you kidding so me? So I'm almost, almost like, are you at kidding the heel. Me? That's heel literally... will be going in two nights. Yeah, that's insane. Mm -hmm. So I checked with with Tracy. She says this totally counts for the uh, for the grocery girls. I almost said Gilmore girl. The grocery <laughs> girls. Um, that second, is high praise. Uh, second soccer summer cap. That's very cool. So I'm really excited about that. Very cool. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. I haven't gotten as far as Christina, but I do. Not only I have my tequila sunrise socks today. Not only, and I'm that far down the foot. So there's my, okay, weirdest heel in the history of heels. So I knit this with Eric and Ramona and Ashley and everybody at Eric's mm -hmm. Knit Night. And look at my freaking heel. Look at that so weird. So pointy. So pointy. It was supposed to be a fish kiss lips yeah. heel. 
And I forgot to stop and I just kept knitting and there's like two stitches at the very end and it looks so weird. But it fits! I posted, I put it on. Yeah, it looks good on. It looks fine. You know what? It gets the job done. It gets the job done. Yeah. See, I think, see, it's supposed to look like that. Yeah. But I end up having a really. So anyways, it fits. I'm almost done. I think I'm going to start my toes soon. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't put it on yet to double check, but I'm close. I'm so close. So that, that's where I'm on. Isn't this a great colorway? So Christina has some in stock, it's so guys. Summery. It's so summery. I get so many compliments mm -hmm. on this everywhere I go. And everybody who knows me as a dyer, they're like, oh, I love it. Did you do that? And I'm like, no. <laughs> so it's it's so awesome. It looks like it can be mine. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> wow. That's high compliments. I think so. That's good. Yeah. So my other sock whip I have going on is my groovy socks. These are the ones that were in the kit with Mrs. Brown Bag. That sold out in a flash. <laughs> they sold out so fast I didn't even get to look at them before they were gone. Um, so I'm just doing the plain, um, not the plain, but the, the regular sock wheel, just the merino and nylon, not the sparkle. Uh, I really, really love them. I'm really happy with this color combination. It's so not my typical mm -hmm. stuff. So this is that those are my yeah, we traded this. <laughs> yeah, we traded. It's just funny. But that's okay. People ask, did, did the cozy knitter dye that? And I'm like, no, I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I, uh, whenever I knit on my best friend socks, yeah, everybody's like asking about that. I'm like, yeah, it's not my. Kid. I need to do more of that. Yeah, that's, that's it's a hard one to get right. Mm -hmm. But so maybe I'll have to just dye them in a batch and sell each batch with a different picture. Yeah. Anyways, I'm in Heel Town. I'm gonna do an afterthought heel, I think, because I haven't tied the mini for it yet. So this way I'll just do afterthought heels in both and then I'll get around to dyeing the mini sometime. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But I'm very happy with that. So I have my two sock whips that I'm rotating through. But I'm working mostly on this one now because I really yeah. want to get that sock done. And mm -hmm. yes, I'm doing the Grocery Girl second sock cow. You gotta. Did you guys see my Instagram picture? I have six second socks to do. I Actually, shouldn't really say anything because I've got lots too. Yeah, but look, you're already on it. What is this? Wait, what is this? This so, is not your second sock. No. What is she doing? I didn't well, even notice. Um, uh -huh. I can help myself. So <laughs> if you're a club member <laughs> and you did not get your June yarn yet, they shipped about Close your eyes. a week and a half ago. If you did not get it, you don't want to surprise. Or if you want a surprise, you don't want to be spoiled. Avert your eyes. Yeah. Are you ready? Everybody else, get close to the computer. <laughs> this is my June oh, colorway, so it's kind of getting a little it. blown out. It's so Arr, pretty. There we go. That's nice. Look at that. I love it. That makes me happy. It's so, so pretty. It's, it's so old rose garden. It's oh, what did called you call old it? romance. Nice. So there's two different colors of green it. in it. There's these two mauves, mauve, mauve. Move, move, move. You got it right, yeah. And then there's the gray, and then there's like a um, sandy color in it. I love, I love it. it. So you're knitting that. So this, and you, is the you have the green, it. or sorry, gray. You did a gray mini. Yeah. And then yes. I, because I also wanted to test drive my zings. <sighs> How do you like them? What do you think I of love zings? Them. So I did yeah. start this out on a five needle, but as you can tell, I have switched to four. It's just it's easier. That's you know what, what she did, guys. She sort of, pulled out a needle on me. We're in the middle of the periscope, yeah. and all of a sudden, I see I from like the corner. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle it. Put it back in. Put it back in. That's okay. what she said. <laughs> so, she's actually doing really good because look, look, look. Oh I'm my also god, guys! Seriously, the sock I can't. I'm from a loose skein because I'm, I'm too lazy to ball it up. So I'm, I'm just gonna have it dangling here. I need, I need to breathe. Like I need to like remember to breathe. Look at me. I'm screwing up my hair and everything. Oh my god. <laughs> You'll be fine. Oh, drop stitches, loose wool. She does it just to screw with my head. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh not evil. I need to like smell some wool, so. <laughs> I need to squish some wool. <laughs> Did you do any uh, acquisitions this week? I have an acquisition. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Seriously, you guys, look. Oh, I haven't seen this yet. You haven't seen it. I have saved this. I I got it literally the day we podcasted last. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Okay. It's Draco all the way from halfway around the world, baby. And you want to know what colorway I got? Which yes. is kind of ironic, given what I'm knitting right now. Bum, 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 bum. Look at 
how bright that is. <laughs> Sherbet Frit. No, oh Sherbet Fizz. Isn't that amazing? It's so bright. <laughs> Feel how soft that is. Oh it's really God. soft. What is this? 75 superwash merino, 25 nylon. 100 grams, so three and a half ounces, yeah. about 400 meters. Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's so nice. It is so, so nice. I find it ironic because it's similar to your tequila sunrise, so I'm going to have two pairs of It's socks. an even more intense. Yeah. More and intense. it doesn't have the orange. No. Or the second pink, but I, I think I bought this right before I started knitting your tequila oh. sunrise, maybe? Anyways, I'm perfectly fine having socks mm -hmm. that are similar because how wicked are the colors, right? They're gorgeous. I love it. Yeah. And I'm sorry, but this is the wickedest is so package cute. ever. I don't know if it costs them more to send it like this because I think their mail is cheaper than ours. Mm -hmm. But like, look, even that is, look, even, yeah. the, even the label. Can you see the label? Mm -hmm. Look, it's even the same colors as the wool. Is that not the coolest thing? And then this is like a little hole that you can see your wool. <laughs> and it's just the cutest box so, ever. How was that packaged? So this was in a bag. Oh, okay. Like in just a poly mailer? In a poly mailer. And it survived really well. Like you like there's a few dents on the corner, mm -hmm. but little tiny dents. This is really heavy duty cardboard. Yeah. Like this beautiful. itself probably weighs at least 20, 30 grams. Feel how heavy that is. That's like this the how oh, yeah. So I'm wondering how it affects postage. Yeah. Is it bad that I that was my first thought was like, oh my god, that'd be super expensive. Mm -hmm. So I guess I we should address the postal issue. Yeah, the big elephant in the room. So guys, bad news for both of us. Canada Post has the potential to strike as of, they might get locked out as of June 2nd, which is July Saturday, 2nd. July 2nd, sorry, mm -hmm. next Saturday, which obviously for us is horrible for small businesses, especially, yeah. you know, like it's, it's going to hurt small businesses more than anything. More than anything. Canada Post is by far the most affordable postal yeah. option that we have. So now the only option we will have is courier. Mm -hmm. And so we're researching the different courier services, but honestly, there's just it's not, not an affordable no. option. No. So um, I've decided that I will have everything mailed out as of tomorrow. My, my queue will be empty. Mm -hmm. So if you're waiting, it's coming out tomorrow. And then I'm shutting down, guys. I'm, I'm not going to risk it. I can't. I don't want to deal with FedEx Pure later, change things mm -hmm. up, have you guys pay triple the price to ship so i will close down until i'm hoping the strike doesn't happen yeah if it doesn't happen i will open back up joyously mm -hmm. next weekend if it does happen i'm going to stay shut until it, it, the strike is over yeah but i'm going to keep dying that whole time so mm -hmm. i'm hoping say the strike lasts a week i'm going to stockpile my usual weekly dies and so that when I open, you can get your wool and get it at the right postage price. Yeah. So there'll be a big ready to ship update. Yeah, I'm yeah a yeah. huge ready to ship, which for me will be amazing because I know you, I hate waiting for my. I do too. I, I love. I, I feel bad that people wait, and yeah. I'm going to change that. I'm working on it. Yeah, I've so had anyways, the, the odd order come in. What are you going to do? I've had an order a little odd order come in, yeah. and literally I'm sitting here packaging, and it's yeah. marked ship like within yeah. five minutes. But. Um, I'm doing more of the same thing. I'm checking into one last courier service mm -hmm. um, that I've been talking to about getting a, a rate. So that might be one option. It would be the only option that I'll mm -hmm. offer because the other services are just too expensive. Yeah. Um, so we'll see if I can find a good rate that I want from, from this service, then mm -hmm. I'll have that on the side. But otherwise I'll be doing the same thing. I'll be putting the shop basically in holiday mode. Yeah until we figure out what's going on with this strike. So we're sorry guys, but on the upside, when we come back, it's all gonna be dyed, ready it's to It's all gonna be ready to go. Which is kinda good. Yeah. Actually, and honestly, if the strike's only a week, you might get your will earlier yeah. <laughs> from me. Cause my, my two, three week turnaround time is really driving me nuts. Yeah. I wanna get it down to within a couple days. Yeah, I will That's be- That's my goal, a week max. So I hope to do that when the strike comes back. Cause yeah. I'm gonna stockpile like 50 pencils. I'm gonna mm -hmm. stockpile like, 30 sock monkeys. I'm gonna do a whole bunch of new colorways. Um, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of speckles waiting to go out, so. I'm doing a whole bunch of old colorways, as a matter of fact. Mm. Uh, because I'm doing a holidays in July, please let it be in July, Canada Post. Um, update. Are you so, gonna do your Christmas? Or are you doing gingerbread house? <gasps> She's am. doing gingerbread house! I am bringing back. Talk um, about a seller. Yeah. Holy. It's called Holidays in July because I will also be bringing back 
um, my Halloween colorways and probably one or two of the fall colorways. That's brilliant! Brilliant! That way you have time to knit it before oh, whatever holiday you're knitting for comes that's, around. That's brilliant. Brilliant. So. Oh, and for our Yarn of the Month customers, unfortunately the shipment will be, I don't want to put it in the mail next week and have no. it sit somewhere for oh, God knows how long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you all a message and say, your wool is safe with me. When the strike is over, depending on how long it is, you'll get July and potentially August or yeah. however long the strike goes for. But I will yeah. um, be sending out a blast email to all of my Yarn of the Month customers letting you know that I don't, I don't want to risk it. Because no. seriously, even if we mail it on Monday, if they strike on Saturday, that's not a lot of time. No. Like... It usually you know. takes a few days for them to tender it to Canada Post. Yeah. So for me, I have a huge shipment of parcels going out tomorrow. So tomorrow, yeah. Friday. Yeah. Um, and I'm hoping most of it will get to... Well, I'm hoping all of it, really. Get out of Canada. Will, will get to the border. Yeah. And uh, then the ones in Canada get delivered before a potential strike yeah. happens. Because um, Canada Day is the first, which is a bank holiday. So which is next Friday. Friday so Friday is not even service a day. is not running. I yeah. do, unfortunately, have a couple of colorways that are not ready to ship, will not be ready to ship Friday. Um, I will be emailing those customers to see if they want me to ship it Monday, if they want me to just hold on to it. Yeah. So we're doing the best we can. Sorry guys. And honestly, it hasn't, Ugh. they've been promising us a resolution yeah. for the longest time. So I wasn't, I wasn't that worried about it until mm -hmm. really much this week. Yeah. Because as of like last week, both sides were saying, no, we're going to resolve it. It's, they're not that far apart. But then all of a sudden on Monday, yeah. they start talking, like the postal workers are talking about how, you know, Canada Post is going to lock them out and it could be as early as the yeah. second. And I feel like I've yeah. been kind of broadsided by this. Like we weren't really aware. I understand it was the contract negotiations. Thing. Like they Wait, have I'm a right to do so. I'm not commenting on that. It's just the, the uncertainty. Of it. The yeah. uncertainty is what I don't like. So we're, we'll do yeah. the best that we can. We'll keep you in the loop. But... Let's talk about something happy. Let's talk about some happy. Let's talk about happy because you want to know what's happy? What's happy? I have another whip. Show us. And I haven't even shown it on Instagram. Ooh. I showed you the wool, mm -hmm. but I haven't shown you the whip. And I actually took time away from my song. <laughs> <laughs> I took time away from song knitting for this. What? So this is my Mrs. Brown bag. So you guys know the story about this one. I bought this bag. I just happened to check Mrs. Brown bag's website. She had this bag. I go on Instagram after I received it and didn't, Lolo did it, have the same bag but in the pearl. And I was like, ah, oh, and she was using it to be part of a knit along for, you ready for it? For, sorry, my printer sucks. The Aluna shawls. And so I said, ah, oh, it's fate. I have the same bag. I need to join the Aluna mm -hmm. knit along. And so I stashed over. And last week, I showed you guys the two colorways I ended up choosing, both Tannis uh, Fiber Arts, because mm -hmm. my heart belongs to Tannis. Yeah, Tannis Her, really was what uh, turned us on to indie dye. Gear. Yes, she was my first indie mm -hmm. dyer for the longest time. Yeah. So I chose her Lucky Penny colorway mm -hmm. and her gold colorway, and I think they look smashing together. Yeah, there's like touches of the gold yeah. in Lucky Pennies. They really complement each other Knitting well. it, it's amazing all the colors that are in Lucky mm -hmm. Penny. So I'm using that, and I'm using my Lucky Penny as my color A because I wanted mostly the green shawl um, with the splashes of yellow. And so I'm already on the second color, a stripe. Look at me. Gorgeous. Yeah, so I'm already, I need to literally put in my second yellow stripe. Yay. Yeah, and you know what? I even had to pull back some <laughs> because I wasn't following the instructions. Oh. <laughs> I had to frog like five rows. And I think I'm at, how many stitches am I at? Hold on one second. Give me a second here. I now have 84 stitches on the needle. Yay! So I'm doing really, really well. And I love it. I love the pattern. It has short mm -hmm. rows. Um, I didn't do the short rows the way they told us to do the short rows because I'm a rebel. I did a twin stitch short row. So if you've ever done a twin stitch, that's how I did it and it worked out mm -hmm. great. So there we go. It's going to be lovely. Can't you just see me wearing like a green? I'm going to love it. It's almost like a, it's going to be very toned mm -hmm. down. And you did it on a sort of loose gauge. It's going to be nice for summer. Well, you know what? The needles are... are... Yes. There's eyelet action yes. happening. Yes. I just did a row of ah. eyelets. That's, um, let me see. Section oh. two, guys. I'm oh, down no. on row okay, 52. Don't want to get this the pattern away. Of it. Look. Isn't that pretty? So, I'm sorry my printer didn't have any red ink, so it looks kind of bad. <laughs> it's a little bluish. It's a little bluish, but isn't that gorgeous? So, I'm right 
I'm just about to do this stripe right there, the second one down. So yay! Can you have another shawl? I have more. So on Father's Day, <laughs> we were having some downtime after being out all day, and I decided I was going to organize my whips. And not only was I going to organize my whips, I was going to prepare my new whips. I was going to download the patterns, Ooh. and I was going to print them out. I was going to find project bags. So I haven't found all the project bags. I need a new project bag, so I'm on the hunt for a new project bag. But I got out an oldie but a goodie because I decided I'm going to start working on it again. It is my Ashburn shawl. Mm -hmm. We've talked about this one before. Mm -hmm. This is knit on Plucky uh, Sport Travel. Tra traveler base. Traveler base. So it's merino, mm -hmm. mulberry silk, silk, and yak. And oh my god. Okay. I could feel myself up all day. It is seriously it is so squishy and it has this beautiful drape mm -hmm. and i need to finish knitting this because hello you need to wear it and this is only okay so i used almost a whole skein of this teal which is called mm -hmm. soda fountain and then so now i'm on to this color and then there i have to finish that color before i can move on to that so that's oh, the final that's color combination so it's a little it's going to be very adulty i'm adulting when i'm wearing this one mm-hmm and that's, I love the shape. It's going to yeah, be like... it's very long. And I made, actually mine's bigger than it calls for. I made mine extra stitches. So I can't, like, I, it's only, it's bigger than, it's big enough to wear already. Like, yeah. I could yeah. just cast off here and be happy. <laughs> call it a day. Call it a day, but I'm not going to because I want it to be epically big. Like, yeah, I want it to be able to sleep with it. Like, it's... Mm. It'll be nice. It'll, like, be a big cushy thing <gasps> around your neck in it's the winter. Beautiful. And I also changed the pattern a bit. I do this for almost all my shawl patterns. I slip the last stitch. Mm -hmm. So I get this really fabulous edge, especially on garter. Mm -hmm. Can you guys see that? It's a really nice edge. Um, that's kind of inspired. And then obviously I haven't woven in any of my ends yet. That's okay. That'll be a day's work. It'll be a day's work, seriously. Mm -hmm. So that, and so I have my pattern, which is a fabulous pattern. Ashburn by Melly Berg. That was before you ran out of red. Before, well, yeah. <laughs> It was the beginning of it. So it is, it has a project bag. It's in my plucky bag. Yay! So it has a bag. You, you gotta show this. Oh, sorry. Like, look at the picture. <laughs> and then it says, mine, all mine. <laughs> mine, all mine. This is so fun. It's such a me bag. I love it. So you know what I need a project bag for? My three colors. Oh, I'm gonna show this side. There we go. I'm gonna put these colors together for my party on my needles. So you guys saw this one is the flying kettle that I showed off mm -hmm. last week. It's a beautiful speckle. And then after we were done filming, it just happened to land beside this one. And Christina and I went, oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. And this has sparkles. Mm. So these two were a natural together, complete yeah. natural. So, and then I was like, well, what do I want to go with it? Because you need that third color for around the edge. The pop on the edge. pop of the bind off. And then, you know what? Boom. Oh, you know, it's no, going to be perfect. It's going to be perfect. There's no orange in this. But that's problem. okay. Because you know what? This is mm. such a fun color. It's like, yeah, it is a holy pattern. Yeah. So, those are my pattern. colors. Aren't they fabulous? Gorgeous? So, this is my party on the needles. I need yeah. to cake these. I'm probably going to do that this weekend. Because I need a project bag, but now with the postage strike, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So right now it's living in this really ugly you can sew. container. I can sew. I have a really nice sewing machine actually. Maybe I should try my hand at a project bag. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of getting stuff in the mail. So I do this too. is my party on the needles. I'm in the yeah. cool kid club. So this is shawl number. Three, and I have a number four. You have another one? So number four is, you guys have seen this before, this is my Mia, and this is by Unit. Um, now I can't remember your real name, I'm sorry, she's in Toronto, mm. I can't remember your name, I'm sorry, and I only printed off the pattern, I didn't print off the front picture. Anyways, I'm knitting this in my water gradient, it's going to be epically awesome. It starts at this purple, and then it's going to go into a um, blue, and then out into a turquoise. And it's hard to see, but it has these really great eyelets throughout the whole thing. So it's a lot of fun. So I finished the first section, and now I need to move on to section two. So this is this is shawl number four. Oh my goodness, you're all about the shawl. Bags. Not really, if you think about it, I have six socks right. on the go. Six socks, four shawls, and those are only the ones I, I 
and organizing. Any other whip right other now? Ones hiding. Are hiding and they're gonna be hibernating. I'm perfectly happy having like whip um, amnesia or something. I just forget about them yeah. and pretend like they don't exist. Exactly. And then we move on and yep. do something else. And then I'll find them and it'll be like, oh, this was yes. fun. I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, but no, my so my summer is going to be second socks mm -hmm. and maybe a few more for socks. Well, you know. I found sock needles. Oh no, that's. <laughs> So they need a sock on it. So seven's a good number for socks. So I'll be working on seven socks, my four shawls, and I'm just going to rotate It's one through. per day. Honestly, I should pick a Half day Half an hour week. a day, they each get, you know, their little bit of Definitely. attention. I'm going to assign. I'm going to assign days of the week to all of them. Love your calendar. It's like next to the kids' chores. Like, oh, you but guys, I need more you. project bags. I might, have to, I might have to try my hand at sewing them. Because this needs to be cast on. How can I not mm, cast I these have on? To. But I think I might wait on these guys until I'm done my tequila sunrise socks. Mm. Because I have I might actually have to bring my box of socks home. Because <gasps> I think I want to do it. Sitting in my living room. I know. I think I want to do my yarning ones next. Oh yes. I have yarning yarn too. I'm thinking yarning because I see her everywhere. And I have some vivid yarn. I might do some vi I might do some vivids. Do you Ooh. think do you have Mrs. Brown bags on the on the head or what? Those are her other two favorite diets. <gasps> oh, I my have some God, guys. Speaking yes. of Mrs. Brown Speaking bag, of Mrs. Brown bags. Oh, I could no. not believe it. I, guys, I'm out of control right now. It's insane. I think I was almost as excited as you were when you told me. <laughs> so I went to the mailbox the other day. And in my mailbox is this beautiful polka dot bag. I'm like, oh, I love what? it. What is this? I think polka dot bags. It's so much fun. Jody, Jody sent me a gift. And I squealed, and I had another one of those moments like, oh my god, Jody sent, oh my god, guys, seriously, I'm like having a conniption right now, <gasps> who bags, oh. so gorgeous, they're so gorgeous, oh my they're god, so, so these are part of her Andy collection, like look at how Which, gorgeous they look, are, look, look, someone's gonna be my twinsy bag, oh yeah, baby, oh yeah, so, there's, she sent this gorgeous one, uh, Andy Collection. This is all purpley, pinks, yellow. I want this gorgeous. so bad. Oh my so god. So gorgeous. And it's then, gonna be so hard to mail that away for a giveaway. It might just have to some visit me in my house for a while. this one. <gasps> if those are um, not Christina's colors, I don't know what so, is. So, in full disclosure, so Jody sent me both the bags. <laughs> oh, you're being way too honest. I and wouldn't say anything. <laughs> she said, keep one and give one away. So this one technically had the keep on, keep keep me tag on it, but I love this one. And look, look, it matches my yarn. I had to swap. <laughs> Which actually means and I the found, giveaway gets the bigger bag. Yeah, so, so. The, actually the other one is larger because, so this was part of the whole, I need a bag for my blanket. Mm -hmm. And Those I hung and hawed for like days. I'm like, I love them both so much, but this one matches my yarn so perfectly. And I, I mean, I know it's too big for a pair of socks, but I love it. I love it. I, I, I can't let it go. So it's either I, I keep them both. Or <laughs> I mean, that's a total option. <laughs> Maybe not after I've said it on here. I'm just going to say now, Johnny knows. To. I will literally cry if I let this one. You can keep this one and we're going to give away the beautiful oh, bag, Mrs. Judy. Brown bags. I mean... You guys, seriously, you guys look at the get this size amazingly of this. This, amazing this would bag. literally fit on my head. Yeah, so we're going to use... Don't put it on your head. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. I feel like... I don't That's know. how big it is. <laughs> Thank you, Jody. I'll make sure there's no oh my god. Oh, and then <laughs> even... <laughs> so, because sending two bags wasn't generous enough... She said more. Oh my god, you guys. Look at that mini. Oh my god. Look at it. It might have to come home with me. Can I no. make two minis? This is mine. Please. It's mine. Oh, she's so mean. I love it. Oh, so this is Yarn Ink. Mm. And this is the Crush colorway. I love it. How would you say your name? Alicia? Alicia. 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 Are Seriously. Are we saying it wrong? I always want to say Alicia. Because it's E-L-Y-S-I-A. I think. I'm pretty sure that's how you spell it. Anyway, she's amazing balls. She was my second Gorgeous. indie dyer. <gasps> so pretty. First it's Tannis, mm -hmm. and then it's mm -hmm. and then it's Yarn Ink. 
And then Vivid. Gorgeous. I don't have any Vivid. And then you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I can tell. Hey, you're so, number four, baby. I was laughing the other day. Were you um, number one? Because... Amanda's daughter had quite the accomplishment this week. Oh my god, we didn't tell you guys! Okay, you've probably seen this on Instagram. It was the most liked photo I've ever mm. posted. My baby girl, she's eight years old. She was just accepted into the <gasps> National Valley School! Like, seriously, it's so like... so exciting. I can't wait to go watch her. Students all over Canada and internationally mm -hmm. auditioned to get in. Like, we're talking like thousands and thousands of kids try. And she got accepted. My baby girl. My baby girl. It's so exciting. It's so exciting. So she starts in September, but she's doing classes this summer, too. So and how did she react when she chose? So <laughs> I happened to be going to pick her up. <laughs> she she literally picked me up a minute after I found out, and I had tears. I was literally standing on my driveway crying. So we were like, ah! Like, yeah. we're all squealing. But her daughter is so... Reserved. She's such mature. a ballerina. She's so... She's an old soul, and she's very quiet. And the more excited you get, she get, she internalizes it. So she's just like... Meanwhile, I'm like, yeah! and she's like, <laughs> anyway, so I, I wanted to, I wanted to surprise her. I didn't want it to be one of those come home from school and I'm like, Hey, good news. So after we went out for coffee and I like literally was on the phone the whole time, calling my in-laws, calling my husband, calling my friends, calling everybody. So after Christina dropped me back off at home, I decided I was going to go surprise her. Mm -hmm. So we had stopped at the dollar store and I got her. A big gold foil balloon and a pink flower lay and I went to her school and I signed her out and I told her in front of the whole office staff that she got in and she jumped up and down. Oh, she did. She okay, jumped up good. and down. Yeah, she was so we excited. Like, she's gonna say, oh, okay, well that's good. Yeah, like, she's I totally just thought so she was gonna do that. Yeah. Quiet. But no, she started jumping up and down. She was so excited and then I took her out for ice cream. Aww. And then we hung out for a little while and did a little bit of like just shopping, just a couple things and then I took her back to school. So mm, it was nice. it was a pretty epic day. So that's I am nice. so proud of her. She is such a hard worker. She is so determined. She has put in so much work. Mm -hmm. She dances more than you would even. And then she comes yeah. home and dances even more. Yeah. She comes over and she's like skipping through the living room, like yeah. in and amongst all these boys <laughs> and everything. She her yeah. life is dancing. She loves it. So I just I just my only wish for her is that she continues to love it. That's yeah. all I want. I just she as long as she loves it. She will go as far as yeah. sky, like she'll just keep going. So, but I'm I was really laughing excited. because she had posted this on on Facebook as well, and yeah. I'm like, oh, and I'm like, that's our girl. I'm like, oh, <laughs> do I get to say that? Yes. Because so technically, I, well, I was not there at conception. Let's just make that clear. I was not, but I was there when she was <laughs> born. So I feel like that should count. Yeah. And you know what? I've always felt camera. like my girl was I was going there when we found out she was a girl. Yeah. Yeah, Christina took me for that ultrasound. Mm -hmm. Her husband's away. The 20-week ultrasound. He was in Germany. Yeah. Yeah, so that was... So I've always felt that she's she's kind of destined for greatness. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe it's just because like, I'm a, her mother and I think, that, you know, the world sets on my kids, but... Well, and girls are very rare in our circle. so rare. <laughs> she's literally, like, the only girl in, like, our circle of friends, yeah. really. So, yeah. So I just, I'm so freaking proud of her. Like, I can seriously, I, I'm literally stopping people in the grocery store and telling them. <laughs> but yes. Oh my God. So, so much fun. it will be a big year. I will be in Toronto lots now. Yeah. Midnight. I will have a go train pass. <laughs> Might have to do a uh, monthly yeah. week, uh, monthly knit night at like at the yeah. National Bank. <laughs> <laughs> they have a really nice parent lounge. It's, there we it's, go. It's a pretty sweet setup there. So <laughs> anyway, so that's, that's my big news. So we had a mm -hmm. big, big week at my house and I don't know, like it's been a great week. Great week. And we got big weekends coming. You have lots of stuff this weekend. Oh my god, I'm exhausted just thinking about everything I have Christina has to do. Lots of lacrosse games. I think I have four lacrosse games. I got three birthday parties. I got a bridal shower. And then oh my husband plays baseball too. I forgot about that. And I gotta go shopping. Crazy. Yeah. I, I have a, I have one birthday party to go to, my nephew's birthday party. Mm. It's going to be so much fun. He's yeah. so adorable. Oh, my God. And he's such a handful that I just sit back and laugh. <laughs> because my old... It's good thing mom and dad are in shape. <laughs> I know. They're the CrossFitters. They're, they're, they can run after him and toss mm -hmm. him around. But he's, he's hilarious. <laughs> I saw him last night at the gym. And so my youngest is a monkey. Like, literally a monkey. So he was it's hanging. True. He climbed fences oh. before. He literally, yeah. He was the one, like, before he was a year old, could figure out how to climb on top of the kitchen table. And do you remember the one time he was, he climbed up on the kitchen table, and before I could get over there, 
he starts peeing all over the kitchen table. I was like, I just remember the one time like what we lost hell? him. He wasn't in the backyard. He was supposed to be playing in the backyard, and we were like in the kitchen. And it's a fully gone. fenced backyard, Hi. gate, everything. He's in the neighbor's backyard on the swings. He climbed over the fence onto their shed and then oh, down off the roof of the shed. What? And he was like not even tiny. Two. Yeah, because it was he was young. Yeah, it was. He's still a monkey. He's mm. so he's hanging upside down from the rings, like completely upside down, almost ready. To, I don't know what you gymnasts call it, but when you actually like do like a complete flip while you're holding on to them. And my nephew sees this and doesn't he start copying them? <laughs> my brother-in-law was like, "Gee, thanks." I'm like. <laughs> It's a family thing. Oh, <laughs> well, it's his gene pool, really. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, it's mm -hmm. it's quite funny. Anywho, I think uh, you got anything else to show, lady? I haven't done any other knitting. Well, you, I you did dying. not. You did pretty much a sock. I have been dying like a mad lady. Yeah, yeah. Lots of dying. Mm -hmm. Minis. I have minis going out. Hopefully, I don't know if they'll be out by Monday. Okay. Mine are out. I got to put together my package for Sue. So we're doing a podcast to swap. So we all sort of got matched up. There's a whole bunch of us. And my partner is Sue. So You're I got to put something duck. together for her. Nice. When those have to be out by a certain date too. I saw that there's a deadline. Yeah, it's like the end of the month. Yeah, I'll figure good. it out. I have, I have ideas. I have ideas of what yeah. I'm putting together. I already know mm. what minis I'm going to put in it. I thought it was supposed to be a surprise though. Yeah, well, she is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I know what they are. Nice. All right. Well, and I then think I uh, gotta get. Yes, the 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 knitting needs are like, oh, 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 the knitting needles are calling us. I think we both feel like we I want know. to knit lately. I know, yeah. which actually I'm kind of looking forward to knitting this summer. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do some knitting, but the dye pots are calling me because I've got a couple more things to get out I for do. tomorrow. So I've got we should run three colorways to do. That's a new one that matches <sighs> my. I'm and so glad you're happening. gonna do that colorway. Awesome. And we still have to do our die off color, right? Yes, we do. We're such slackers. But you know, we'll have time to do that because of the strike, so. Yes. Hopefully, no strike. Making lemonade. Yeah. We're making lemonade. Yes. All right, guys. Have a great day. We are off to the dye pots that are calling us. Yeah. So hopefully, we'll see you next week. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you're new, I hope you liked us. Awesome. And thank you again, anybody who's joined us before. Yes. So have a good day, guys. Bye. Bye.